Hey everybody, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. I'm back from a five day road trip. It's good to be back. I had all these ideas that I wanted to put down on video in the next couple of weeks, so this is the first of many. Uh, when I was out in the Albuquerque area, I was talking to my nephew, and he was talking about how he was playing a show one time, and he forgot his capo. And a lot of his songs require capos because he plays acoustic and he sings. So uh, I asked him, you know, you know the pencil trick, right? And he kind of looked at me funny, like he sort of knew. And I was like, oh man, everybody needs to know about the pencil trick for capos. And it made me think about five things that I had forgotten in the past when it comes to going to shows and being like, oh, I forgot this or I forgot that. So today I'm going to talk about five things that you can easily, sometimes easily, replace with everyday objects that you usually would find at a club or a bar or even somebody's house if you're playing a house gig. So let's get started with the most obvious thing you might forget, which is your pick. So I did a video on this before. I had like five or six different options, but I'm going to talk about the most obvious one today, which is cutting the corner of a credit card. Uh, maybe not a credit card, but some kind of gift card or anything that's plastic that fits in your wallet. Since I was just on a road trip, I do have a card key from a hotel. So just grab a pair of scissors, clip off the corner of it. Be careful, you don't wanna cut your finger right before a show. So this is like a triangle. I'm just gonna shave off the sharp corners here. So now it looks like this. It's not the greatest looking pick, but in a pinch, it will do the job. I don't know why I just played Cat Scratch Fever, but it felt right. Okay, so that worked, and that would get me through a show. And if you mess this one up or it gets worn out, you still have three corners to go. All right, I was just talking about my nephew forgetting his capo. If you forget your capo, you could be completely lost. Just take a pencil. It can work with a pen, anything that's the shape, a chopstick, whatever you have, and a rubber band. And you can even break the pencil in half. Be careful though, because if it's your only pencil and you break it too short, that's not gonna work. Okay, so it's about, I don't know, that almost half a pencil, maybe three quarters of a pencil. And what I like to do is I like to, if the rubber band's kind of loose, I like to double it up like this. So it's twice as uh, resistant, if you will. Put it over the top of one side of the pencil and just put the pencil over whatever fret you need. It doesn't really matter because you can move it around, but I like to have it in the right spot so I don't have to move it too much. But just get the rubber band behind the back and over the other half of it, just like that. Now I'm adjusting it a little bit. Remember with capos, you wanna pull it towards you so it's fretting right up against the fret. If it's in the middle, sometimes that can cause some buzzing. So pull it up and hopefully you have a little bit of resistance. If it's loose, you might have to do three loops on the rubber band, I'm not sure. Okay, I was gonna play Hotel California, but Don Henley's really rough with the copyright stuff, so let's skip that for now. The next one seems kind of stupid, but it could really save your hearing. I love to wear earplugs at every show, especially now that I kind of messed up my ear. I did a video on it a while ago, but I play with earplugs all the time, uh, especially when I'm drumming. Sometimes you might forget your earplugs, and what's a kind of a substitute that's not the best, but it does the job, is just rolling up toilet paper really tight. So I used to go to the bathroom real quick before a set. I would grab some toilet paper, roll it up into a tight ball, shove it in, and it did a pretty good job. One time I was playing in a country band, and I knew that I had four songs that I played slide on, so it's pretty important that I needed a slide. It's the thing I forget almost all the time. So I had to find a substitute. Luckily with slides, you could substitute it with many things. I even used my inhaler one time. Uh, when I was in Albuquerque, I played the Breaking Bad theme out of my hotel balcony using my inhaler because I didn't have a slide with me and it worked just fine. Another option that you can always go with is a shot glass. And I actually had to borrow this one from my mom. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, borrowing a shot glass from your mom. It's a Wyoming shot glass. Anyway, I like these taller ones. They're usually used for tequila shots, I think. This one you can actually put on your finger. It looks ridiculous, but it'll do the job. <laughs> So that works, it feels really clunky if you're used to a tight fitting slide, but you know, if you're in a pinch, you have to use it. Someone yells out free bird, you have to play it, just use a shot glass. But what if they don't have a tall skinny shot glass? You can use a standard one, it's a little more difficult. Speaking of Albuquerque, got the Breaking Bad shot glass. 
had to go to the Breaking Bad Museum. All right, for this one, you don't really wear it like that. It's kind of silly looking and it's not playable. So I just hold it normal, kind of like I did with the inhaler. And I just hold it like this. Hold it against the guitar and you just play with it a little bit to get the feel of it. But with this one, you can also use your index finger to do the muting. <laughs> You can also just use a regular glass, but be careful because one time I may have had a couple that night, but I wanted to be kind of a show off. I was like, watch this. And I grabbed somebody's whiskey glass and I started to try to use it as a slide. But unfortunately, the design of the glass had a divot going all around the center of it all around. So when I held it up to my guitar to play everywhere, I aimed the middle of the glass. There was nothing touching the string because of the divot. So I made a huge ass out of myself that time and I learned my lesson. Now, the last item is something that I had to learn the hard way through personal experience, firsthand experience. I went to a show, I was playing bass, and everything was set up. We're about to do sound check, and I reached in the side pocket of the gig bag to, for the strap, and there was nothing in there. It's like, oh, no, I don't have a strap. The guitar player didn't have a backup strap. So I basically just sat down on the amp the entire time and played. And the drummer didn't let me hear the end of that. He just kept giving me crap about it. But afterwards, I realized I could have easily fixed that problem by using gaff tape or duct tape. Now, some people think that's going to be weird, you know, using duct tape. It's going to be all sticky and stuff. But the secret is, is to take, let's say, gaff tape. I like gaff tape because it feels a little bit more like cloth on the outside. And I'm going to make a mini one right now in front of you, but I already made a full size one earlier today just to save time. But all you do is you measure out what you, your normal length for the strap would be. So mine's usually 52 inches. Double that seems like a lot. It's going to be 104 inches of gaff tape. So this is going to be a mini version of it, like I said. Now, this is the hard part. You have to fold it in half perfectly. If you don't, there's going to be sticky edges. It's not the end of the world, but it's kind of annoying. So have your friend, kind of like when you fold up a big blanket or something together, hold the other end and come together right now over me. And then once these are close, then start to push together the two sides. I didn't do the, a perfect job right now. My finger's stuck. But you'll end up with something like this. So both sides are going to be the cloth material. Now this itself is strong enough to hold your guitar or your bass, but you have to take a little bit of a precaution because you have to make the holes on the ends for the uh, strap buttons. So let's do that really quick. So you could take a scissors if you want to be really careful. Like I said, you don't want to injure your finger minutes before a show, but you're going to poke a hole through this. That would have sucked if I would have totally sliced my finger off right in front of you guys. Okay. So I have a little bit of a uh, slot right there and you want it to fit kind of kind of snugly. This one is a little bit more loose than I want it to be. So I could always make another one or just make another hole or something. Now, if you have this as an entire strap, it might get you through the whole show, but the problem is, is the weight of the guitar, the bass will pull down and it might actually rip the slot that you cut all the way through. So you could easily remedy that just by adding another piece of tape, of gaff tape on the end. Two inches, three inches here. And I wrap it around the end just to enforce the strength of the end of this. So now if I pick it up, it's gonna take a lot to actually rip through what I just did. So you're pretty much good to go with that. So here's the uh, real version of it that I did. As you can see, it's pretty ding long. I've got two slots cut in, one on each side, and then I reinforced the ends of it like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it on the end. I made these holes a lot tighter, so this is going nowhere, trust me. Okay, just like that, it looks a little stupid because this little bit of the end kind of sticks up, but who cares, it was an emergency. Now, if I stand up with it, Totally solid. I wish I would have known that back at that base gig because that would have saved me. Okay, let's use everything all at once. I've got my strap, I've got my credit card pick, shot glass, pencil capo, toilet paper in my ears. I don't know, it's just an idea I had. Let's see. <laughs> Just be careful with a heavy glass shot like this because uh, you could put some dents in your fretboard, which I think I may have just done. Okay, everyone, that was fun. So five things that you might forget when you get to a show. Now, hopefully you have an emergency backup. Hopefully they have gaff tape. Hopefully they have shot glasses. If it's a bar, you're pretty much good to go with a lot of these things. Hopefully that'll help somebody out there someday. And I know it's helped me in the past and will help me in the future because I'm kind of forgetful sometimes. So, okay, everyone, thank you for watching. We'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye.